Do you want to be the best player you could possibly be on and off the field? If you want to, you've clicked the right video. Yes, that is right. In today's video, we're going to be talking about four different ways you could be the best player on your team, on the field, or off the field, or just in general. All right, so let's get on with the All video. Right. For number one, we have technique. This composes of shooting, dribbling, and first touch, and everything else you could possibly think of. Technique is very important, especially with shooting, dribbling and first touch i mean all of those are really important they all combine together into one massive thing which is technique so you need to have good technique to do a lot of those be the one of the best players of all time so if you're wondering how you can get a better technique try to practice on a wall or with a friend or just search up certain drills you could do that can help you get a better technique all right for our second one is tactics this comes with decision making and understanding of the game if you want to know how to do and how to know how to make decisions and stuff i think it just combines with ball knowledge and time as you play the game because as you play the game you get smarter and more just you just get used to the game more and understand the game more as you play on so i think understandings and making decisions just happens on how many years you've been playing so that is tactic number two. Let's get on to tactic number all right, three. For our third one is very important it is fitness. All right. You need to have good fitness so you could be able to get strong. So you don't, if someone's running towards you, like Sergio Ramos is running towards you. I don't know why he would. But if he was running towards you and slide tackled you, you'd probably break an ankle or a knee or something because you don't have strength. You need to have strength and strength if you work out with the right stuff that also comes with speed all right so speed is very very important it is very very important to make sure you be scoring those goals and speed combined with dribbling is unstoppable like you could do anything you want with speed and dribbling but strength and speed is very important now let's get on to our last right, tip for our fourth one is probably the most important thing it's more better than physical stuff it is mentality mentality is very very important to anything literally anything it couldn't be soccer football um well both of them are football but any sport and literally just life you need to have a correct mindset and mindset comes with confidence understanding well i already said that before but confidence um motivation and just a bunch of other stuff that is really good for you and you need to be self-confident you can't thrive on other people for confidence you need to have self-confidence because if you thrive on other people for motivation and you leech on other people for motivation and confidence that is going to end up into a weak mentality it, it may help you like your friends may hype you up and stuff that's good but you need to have the ability to self-confidence yourself and self-motivate yourself because sometimes those people that you like aren't going to be there for you so if you are willing to self-motivate yourself into winning and having that mindset of winning everything, you will be unstoppable. Let me tell you, you will be unstoppable. It's okay to lose. It's okay to mess up. Just be, just come back again. You can't drop down when you lose. You gotta come back. So that is it for this video. I really hope you did enjoy. And if this did help you, Please leave a like and subscribe down below. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I think we're at like over 700 right now. So we're getting pretty close, but make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below. Messi or Ronaldo, whichever one gets the most comments, is the better player. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.